Hi, I just wanted to go through and show you what you get for uh, uh, almost $4,000 for a uh, NBC air filtration unit. The This is called a safe cell. Uh, there's different designs. This one's like one of the cheap ones. Um, but basically, here's the way the unit looks if you hook it up. You get a battery, which you have to supply. And then this one has a... A hand bellows you can buy that with it this one doesn't this is a basic unit and then you get the hose to connect to the outside and then you'll have a either the well the bellows would uh, discharge into here so basically what you've got is your suction side this is where your pipe would hook on here and the air flows in and then up through you have a it's called a, a roughing filter. It's just basically, this is like a scotch bright material and then this is your filter batting. So this would set in here to catch the big, big chunks. Then you would put the charcoal filter on um, next. This is still packaged up from uh, shipping, but uh, this uh, attaches to the wall, but the filter part is right here. And here's the the HEPA filter. Sets right on there like that. And then your this filter would set on top of that. Then they connect together through, uh, you bolt it up uh, together. Then uh, on the top, you have a, a 120 volt AC coming in here, and here's 12 volts. That's where your battery would hook up. This is where you would plug into your wall. So the blower motor can be the uh, power. It's a 12 volt motor, but uh, this goes through an inverter. And then if you look inside, that's the fan. It's not huge, but it does move air pretty good. It's 12 volt, and then here's your inverter to go from 120 down to this is like 13, 13 volts or so DC. So that's what you get for $4,000. And if you look at the design I had for the bucket filter, this, this doesn't weigh that much. It's uh, maybe um, five pounds of carbon in there, about the same as what I had in the bucket. This is, uh, but I mean, they're both better filters, of course, because they're uh, they're designed for this, but they're not that much different as far as what they remove. This HEPA filter still have to, even the cheap one that I got for the like the Craftsman uh, vacuum cleaner still has to meet the requirements of removing ninety nine point nine eight percent nine five percent of the particulate. So. This is just a beefier, which is good. With this worth $4,000 uh, difference, because the, the one I built was, you could easily build it for less than $100. Um, so it kind of depends on what you want. Of course, this is more convenient because it's all set up for all your voltage, but you can kind of rig that up uh, the way you want. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what a real NBC filter looks like compared to one that functionally is the same and uh, does the same function and is uh, much, much cheaper. So anyway, thought you might like to see that. Okay, I just put it back together. This is the way it comes shipped. I, um, I don't want to bad mount these things. I mean, they are what they are. You, you, you get a good um, filter system but it costs, you know, it's, it's how much money do you want to spend for it? Um, they they work fine. There's no, but they're real simple. That's, that's the design is simple. It's just basically how much uh, you want to pay for one uh, for the likelihood that you'll need it. So anyway, uh, like I said, I don't want to uh, necessarily badmouth the company. They got to make money too, but I think it's overpriced. And this one's probably going to go on eBay. And I'll just use mine. So you guys have a blessed day.